Hi guys and welcome back to HFV. Today is a very special and exciting day. I'll be back in... What? What do you see in the background? It's it's a Swedish flag. You have got to buy on Hammarby scarves. That means Sweden again. Listen, this is going to be my ninth time in Sweden since I started this channel. Only a bit more than a year. So my question is, if I visited EF Göteborg, Öis, Geis, Hecken, Elsborg, Djurgården, AIK, Hammarby, Malmö. And last time out, Varberg as well. So that was a week ago. My question is, listen to me guys. If I go to Sweden so frequently, what will make the HFV content special? If it happens so many times, it can't be special anymore. You know what? I'm just gonna cancel this whole trip. I'm sorry. Here we are at the Gothenburg Landfetter Airport because nobody on earth who has the possibility would want to miss a match like EF Göteborg against Hammarby EF. It's the round 18 of Allsvenskan, the Swedish first division, and as you see on the table, the third place team, the away team Hammarby, are facing EF Göteborg who are on the sixth place but only three points between the two. This is Korsvägen, one of the busier places of Gothenburg. What you see there is the famous amusement park of Gothenburg, Lisa. Sabari. Oh, we can see some Hammarby supporters there already. And what we see here is Gothia Towers, which is the biggest hotel in the Nordic countries. Back to the game, if you look at the last 10 matches these teams played against each other, we see six Hammarby victories, three draws, and only one EF Göteborg slash IFK Gothenburg victory. That was back in 2020, a cup quarterfinal where EF Göteborg won away 1-3 in extra time. But if we won the last league win, win IFK Gothenburg got against Hammarby EF, we have to go back to May 2016, so more than six years. What we will conclude now is that Hammarby EF are much stronger than EF Göteborg right now. It's not the case in history because Hammarby have won league title and a cup title as well, and EF Göteborg have 18 league titles and 8 cup titles. The last one won in 2020 after they beat Hammarby in the quarterfinals, and today's home team EF Göteborg are also the only Scandinavian club, let's go further, the only Nordic club which have European titles, namely two UEFA Cups from 1982 and 1987. If this is your first time on the channel, you might wonder, what is this guy doing here in Sweden? What's his ambition? I discovered the Swedish football culture last October when I visited EF Göteborg against Jur Gordens EF and that was such an experience I keep coming back. I was actually wrong in the intro because it's not my ninth time, it's my eighth time to be precise, but the ninth is planned already as well. So what I think that the Swedish football culture is a pearl in the collection when we look at the European football cultures and it's not getting promoted enough. So that's our job, the job of, of the vloggers to, to go these leagues which are not which we don't get so much international attention. So here I am again and you also have to know that I have a slight bias for today's home team EF Göteborg because they are the first team I visited and uh, I got so much love from here, official appreciation as well and from the fans as well. But uh, apart from this any Swedish club I went to, all the, the clubs I mentioned in the intro, I got a really warm welcome by fans and uh, I'm really thankful for it. I was at Hammarby twice as well, but now comes the interesting part. I was at Hammarby twice, I was at Hammarby once, but I visited Hammarby twice because once they played away. And both these games, one of them was the this year's cup final against Malmö and the other one when they played away against Jur Gordon and they lost both games. Now I went to five EF Göteborg games so far and all of them were won by EF Göteborg. So if it's a draw or if it's a Hammarby victory, which let's be honest, we have, we have more chance of a Hammarby victory 
obviously I'm I'm hopeful for uh, for a home win, but uh, I'm still gonna try to uh, to broadcast this game as a neutral. But if it's if it's a draw or if it's a victory, this streak of of my Swedish vlogs will obviously break. And the ones who are following my work for longer and following me on Twitter perhaps know that I tweeted that when this match got sold out, that I won't be here, and it looked like that until yesterday. It was a last minute thing because, as probably some of you know, I'm a student, and if I get really expensive flight prices I just can't get over but then I got this last minute and it was like 30% of the original price so it just got it sorted last minute but now comes the question how could I get a ticket if it was already sold out now I've wrote on my uh, Instagram page and as because there are quite many Blovit which is the nickname of EF Coet aboard today's home team so there are quite many Blovit fans on uh, on my Instagram page luckily and one of them could give me a spare ticket so I'm immensely thankful yeah this this made me over here for today's game which indeed was not planned I'll stop talking nonsense now let's get over to today's venue Gamle Villevi which is the stadium of EF Coet aboard of course <laughs> Well, the ugly weather here, guys. We arrived at Gamla Villevi and I'll this gentleman next to me. What's your score prediction for today? Uh, I think uh, IFK win today, 2-0. I think it's going to be like 2-1 uh, to uh, IFK Göteborg. Marcus Berg, two goals today. All right, Rainy, we're lucky if the match doesn't get called off. But we are going to enter Gamla Villevi now, that's for sure. How do you see the chances of IFK Göteborg against Hammarby today? I think it will be a real tough match, but if you manage to win, uh, then I think we actually can stay at the top. So yeah, it's, it's a really important game, and if we manage to win, it will be a great season, I think. My brain says 1-1, my heart says 2-0. Oh, yeah. Totally wet pitch, empty arena now, so... Estimated kickoff is in an hour and 70 minutes, but we'll see whether the match is going to be called off or not. We have the lights, that's a good sign.
absolutely mental here at the Ultras. It's obvious I position myself here on the side so that I don't bother them by filming. It's the only place I could get a ticket, but goosebumps as you saw while we were listening to Snart Hunar Poseidon. This is insane and the view from here at the corner, I'll have like literally the perfect angle to broadcast the game to you. And the match is underway by Bayern in green. Omar B on the attack. This could be a great chance. Out for a corner. Markovic gets it back. Keep his ball after the shot. This looks decent for Hamar B. Besara, will he shoot from there? He doesn't. Formation. It's still there for Hamar B. Oh, yes, gets the ball. Thirty-first minute. It looks like it's a penalty for Blovit. Kevin Yako behind the ball. 32nd minute, tension galore. It's missed guys, it's, it's missed. Keeper went the right way. disappointed with the Hammarby support because they are stunned into silence right now although I thought before that they have a great support they have indeed at home definitely but well, we can hear something from them but not much but their team is superior now much superior to EFK and here's the halftime whistle EFK nil Hammarby nil Blow it during at halftime, nail nail is an interesting feeling for me because uh, I always saw at least one EF goal in the first half in these five matches I visited before. But Bayern are so much superior, they they would have deserved like two goals and the biggest chance. The penalty for EF Co, it was missed, it wasn't the best shot, but also the keeper gets the right way. So uh, Agoni on the on the home crowd's face after that. But uh, I think if the support will be great in the second half, it can be still a uh, 
some turnaround for EFK. Obviously, as I told before the game, they are not the stronger set of players. Hamar B are much stronger, even though they are playing on uh, on natural grass right now, or let's say hybrid instead of uh, instead of artificial. Tension on the EFK goal. Hamar B are uh, much stronger. So let's see about the second half. Blomik are much better in the beginning of the second half and this makes the crowd explode. EFK defending well as for now. Oh, slip inside the box. Oh. Jesus, that was very close. 54th minute, EFK just about survived the nail one. Turns around, keeps the ball. Markovic. Great pass there, Jakob. Great pass to Karnel, he can turn around. Smart pass, Jakob, Markovic, really accurate ball. One against one at the edge of the box. Mullin, he can attack the goal. Jakob, he can turn around, shields the ball well, back to Karnail, so Spectator number today, as you saw, almost full house. Short corner for Hamarbi. One near 77th minute, Hamarbi take the lead.
Now, even though you see the blue and white scarf around my neck, I have to say that uh, they deserved it. Yevko had great chances as well, but he should have put at least one away in order to avoid this happening. Now they did not. So towards the end of the game, Hamari take the lead after working out quite many chances. minutes over five additional minutes this is a huge chance for 2-0 great tackle in the end and a counter possibility for you for Ayesh This free kick is the last chance for Blobit to grab the equalizer. Bent. Oh, no keeper there. EFK were much better in the second half, lots of chances, but if you look at the whole of the game, in my opinion, it was no doubt which team was more confident on the ball. It was the away team, Hammarby. We saw kind of a fragile psychology in the second half because there were moments, there were minutes where EFK were pressing, but just a ball lost or, or something switching and Hammarby was already on the counters and they got short on confidence once more. So in this case, if you are slightly the, the weaker on paper and uh, and if it comes to players you have you just have to take your chances and a chance like this was obviously the penalty in the first half but then also the really big chances for uh, for Hussein Karnail for Gustav Nulin and for Marcus Barry as well just too much inaccuracy and with this the kind of the curse not getting results for uh, for Gothenburg against the Stockholm teams continues and my vlogger streak here at EF Göteborg and Hammarby EF is broken from both sides because 
now. Also, Hammarby victory and an EFK defeat. It stays the same on the table, Hammarby on the third place and EFK on the sixth place. Just there are now six points between them, obviously. I got a really warm welcome from fans and some presents as well. Some new EFK stickers and this t-shirt which is an Ultra Splovy t-shirt. Tell me in the comments how it looks on me. And that was it for today. I know that there are quite some Hammer B fans on the channel. So for you guys, I hope you enjoyed seeing your team winning. What I'm gonna say goodbye with is that I love you Sweden, love you Allsvenskan, love you EFK and respect you Hammer B. I was HFV, see you next time guys on the channel. I hope you enjoyed what you saw today once more. Goodbye.